One, one example I'm going to talk about, which I think is a very exciting agent, is a, is a novel therapy called PEG-PH20, or pegylated hyaluronidase. And the mechanism of that agent is that it breaks down something called hyaluronin or hyaluronic acid that's in the tumor uh, environment, near the tumor, potentially opening up the tumor to more access to chemotherapy or maybe even targeting those tumors directly. And what's really interesting about that agent is that there was a large phase two clinical trial which seemed to show, which seemed to show some benefit when it was combined with a specific chemotherapy backbone called gemcitabine and nabpaclitaxel. And on the other hand, there was a very large, uh, sorry, on the other hand, there was another clinical trial which showed that it did not provide benefit. In fact, it might even cause harm when it's combined with a different chemotherapy agent called uh, modified fulfirinox. And this is very intriguing because we want to know how to use this thing, this agent, in an effective way. We obviously don't want to use it in an ineffective way. And it's, it really points us to the need to do clinical trials in these settings to understand exactly who and, and when uh, people will benefit from this agent.